Hello everyone, today I'm going to do a homeware haul from Ikea. I apologise now for my pronunciation, I am not sure how to pronounce some of these names. I apologise for that now. The first thing we're going to start with is this plant pot. Now I, ab oh this does not come with it, but I absolutely love this plant pot. It's got a nice cut out effect on the top and it's just white at the bottom. This is called Skewra. Skewra. I'm not entirely sure whether that's right, but I'm going to say Skewra. And it is actually for a plant, but I thought it would look quite nice just with one of these scented things in. So I've just put that in there. This was also from Ikea, but I forgot the name of that because I took it out of the wrapper. But I thought it just looks nice like that and it makes the room smell nice. And yeah, so that is the first thing, the plant pot. And this was five pounds. This is the next thing. I don't know whether you can see all of this, but this is actually like a film reel, like a movie sort of thing, but you actually put pictures in here. They've got little slots at the back that you put your pictures in. These, these are called drops. And there's a little nail thing here and they just hang off a nail down and you can put little pictures or quotes in them or whatever. I'm putting quotes in mine. Yeah, and I just love the effect of it. It has, It is actually really dusty because I've been waiting to do this haul. So this was five pounds and these are called drops. The next things are these. Now these are called scub and these are just drawer organizers that you put in your drawer. I actually, I actually got two, one in purple and one in white. You can actually get them in black as well. They are six pounds each, put your socks in, your belts in, your jewelry in, whatever, and you can just put them in your wardrobe or in your drawers just to keep things separate and make sure you know where everything goes and where everything is. So you're not scrambling for a spare sock because you know that it's in the sock compartment, right? Here is one already opened. So as you can see, it folds up like this. You pull it out as a square, zip it up. So it actually keeps its shape then. Can't push it together. But if you unzip it, then you can push it back together again. That goes on the inside. But yeah, you can push it back together again and it's nice handy just for, you know, organizing things. And also if you ever move house, it's not like you've got to carry each individual box. You can just fold them all up easy just sit down the side and that's it so not only are they good for sorting things out but they're also good that if you ever move house they are easy to just fold up and take with you the next thing is this box this is called a mop not a mop that you clean your kitchen floor with it's a mop as in a box mop these are all individual boxes and you can pull them out i haven't opened it yet but you can pull them out and just put little bits and bobs in and what i was actually thinking was i can put this on my dressing table and i can put like regular eyeshadows in here lipsticks in here obviously i wouldn't fit everything in here but it's just nice just to sort of organize things especially when it's on your dressing room table because then you know where everything is they're all in these little boxes and this is called a mop and this was 18 pound right now the next thing i've had to take a picture of this is called a helmer it's more for an office but it is a narrow organizing drawer and they have little paper things for you to put in each of the drawers so you know what's in there and to be honest it's been really really handy i still have two drawers that are empty which has shocked me really because i never do that i usually fill my drawers and this was 25 pound i got the white one but you can get it in orange green or a grayish color i didn't see any of the colors while i was there i only saw those four so white orange green or a gray the next thing are called lots lots they are like square mirrors i did actually take a picture of them i apologize for the reflection of my camera in the picture that's why i took a picture of them and there's four in a pack and they are six pound per pack i'm gonna put these next to my mirror to open my room up a bit and i just thought these were really really cool you can shape them you can put them in a diamond sort of way you can add to them so you can make whatever shape you want you could make well i could make like an s shape on my wall you know you could do anything with them but i'm just gonna have them going down each side i'm gonna be boring like that this is called a god morgan and these are just draw shush these are just draw sorters where you can put things in your drawer so i've just done i've used some of my makeup i've used some of my makeup as an example and um, so i've put creams in here eyeliner and contouring and blusher in there foundation can go in these little they're actually for nail polishes, but you can put your foundation in there. I put lipsticks in there, put a little bit, a little perfume thing in there. My brushes have gone in this part here, along with my mascaras in this bit and some more littler brushes in there. This lifts... This lifts up 
and inside there I just have my powder and my false eyelashes and then that goes back down and I just thought these were really really handy because these actually do fit in drawers which means my dressing table now is really really organized because I have this I have my box to do I also have some more here and they're just like little pots this one was £15 and the little boxes and things were £10. This is called a Vargas. Vagus. Vargas. I'm guessing. I'm guessing Vargas because it's got two dots above the A. So I think it's Vargas. It's basically just a pin board. You can have this portrait or landscape, which I really, really like. What I was thinking with one of these is I'm always forgetting things. Always forgetting things. So this is a good thing to just put on your wall and you can just pin in when you need to remember something whenever you go to ikea everybody always picks up some of these tea lights these this is a hundred pack and they are called glimmer like spyro gateway to glimmer glimmer right these are actually free because i became a member at ikea because well <laughs> i became a member at ikea and they gave me a free pack of these 100 free tea lights they're only four hour burn time but to be honest for free you can't complain and also, when the electric goes, these come in handy. These really, really do. Usually, the 100-pack ones are £1.75, which still isn't bad for 100 tea lights. Also, whilst I was there, I picked up a 30-pack of Sinlig, and I picked up an orange tangerine one and a strawberry and raspberry one. I think that the strawberry ones smell the best, to be honest. Um, so I got two packs of these, and they're both 30 packs, but the prices were different. The strawberry ones were £1.50, which isn't bad for a 30 pack to be honest although i think one pound 75 for a 100 pack is good but these are scented so perhaps perhaps that's why they're a bit more expensive but when i was researching the prices online for this video actually i found that the orange ones were actually two pound 50 and these were only one pound 50 and i just thought that's really really weird because they're both the same size pack they're both called the same thing they're just different scents so I don't really understand, but perhaps the orange one sells more and that's why they put the price up. I don't know. But I think the, the strawberry ones smell better than the orange ones, to be honest. I mean, they both smell nice. I just think the strawberry ones smell a lot nicer. These smell of, like, um, wild berries and this smells of tangerine, obviously. And then the last two things I picked up actually go along with the candle. These are actually indoor lanterns and they are a bit dusty as well. I have actually used these. You can probably see a strawberry one in there. And they are really, really good. I picked up a pink one and a white one. And these are two pound each. What I like about them is you actually have a little door, if that's what you want to call it, on them for you to take out your tea light and put one in. Take it out, put it in, it's easy. And then when it's lit, you can actually push that back down. It's protective, you know. No wind's gonna blow your candle out or you're not gonna accidentally touch it or drop it or anything because it's actually protected in this case, which is what I like about it. But the scent still gets out. These stars are actually cut out. So the scent still comes out of the lantern. It is all protected inside. And that's what I liked about these. So yeah, I picked up those as well. These are two bound each. And they come in different colours. They're not just white and pink. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want me to do more of these in the future. This one was just Ikea. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, if you want me to do more of these, let me know in the comments below. And make sure you subscribe so you know when I post. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!